All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all honor and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Ba'ashem, the ones to the elders and the apostles of great millstones, salutations to all the I can push this word with truth and sincerity and with charity. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father, whom the world only calls God, and Jehovah Bahasham is in the name. Yahweh is his son's name, who the world only calls uh, Jesus, and Rechakwadash is the Holy Spirit. You know, uh, as always, the so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are the true Israelites of the Bible, you know, along with our scattered brethren, you know, the Israelites amongst the other nations that look like the other nations whose lineage goes back through their father to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You are Israelites no matter what the outer appearance may uh, seem to be. You know, uh, 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 I'm your dyer from the Great Millstone Branch here in Chicago. Brother Tazawar. And we're back at you with another quick in transit, another quick nugget, and it's going to be entitled that the Messiah of the Bible, Yahweh Shai, he wasn't down with the uh, with this world, you know. He didn't approve of this world, you know. He wasn't buddy-buddy with this world, you know. He, he was against this world, man, and, and a lot of people didn't like that, man. So, you know, without further ado, you know, uh, we're going to get into the scriptures. And one more thing, you know, the Lord was against this world. Uh, 2,000 years ago, man. How much more now, man? The, uh, as the generations came and came, they just got more and more wickeder. Speaking within our own, you know, our own lifespan, man. I recall times when it was just wickedness, but now it's just wickedness, 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 man. You turn on the TV, it's wickedness, man. You know? You go look outside, it's wickedness. You listen to music, it's just more and more wickedness, man. And, hey, the Lord is not down with this, man. You know? So, hey, you know, we can get into a few scriptures and Lord willing is edifying. Uh, this John 7 and 7 it says the world cannot hate you but me it hateth because I testify of it that the works thereof are evil. Yep and hey we read from the holy scriptures man. Yeah, I wish I said I am the word man. When we read the word uh, the word contradicts you know with these people it, it cuts them to the heart man you know these people lifestyles are uh, against the uh, you jakes uh, lifestyle is against the way of the most high man so hey when we go into these scriptures man and we bring it out to you man uh, 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 you, you were you were uh, rebuttal against it, you know. You get offended, man. You know you get angry, man. The scripture tell you, uh, the scripture say in the book of Galatians, I believe, am I therefore become your enemy because I tell you the truth, man. You know. But hey, the Lord said, uh, can you read it again one more time? This is um, this John seven and verse seven. It says, the world cannot hate you, but me it hateth. Because I testify of it that the works thereof are evil. Hey, and what do you see if you look uh, in, a, in, a, in a world today? You see murder, you know. You see betrayal, man, adultery, and everything, man. You got uh, you got the ill, you know. You got the alphabet people, man. You know, you got these uh, alternate lifestyles as a uh, uh, not the ways of righteousness, man. That's opposite of the ways of life, man, which is death, man. All you see is death, man. And the men of the Lord. We uh we have that mind of Yahweh Shai, man. So hey, we what what we see is what the Lord see, man. And He is uh very upset with this place, man. You know. Yep, yep. Uh, this is this First John two and fifteen. It says, "Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world." If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. Right. So the scripture said, love not the world, nor the things that, that are in it, man. Why? Because, hey, it's going to go in to tell you uh, what's in the world, man. You know? It says, for all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life is not of the Father, but it's of the world. Right, you got intemperance, man, which I believe goes into a, a lack of restraint. These people do whatever they want, whenever they want, as much as they want, man, and it, it's completely wicked, man. You know, and the men of the Lord, we, we get vexed when we see that, man. You know, just as the scriptures tell you in the book, of, uh, I believe it's Jude, tell you about uh, righteous lot, vexed with the uh, filthy conversation of the, of the, you know, the abominations that he was seeing, man. You know? It says, what else? It says, you talking about this verse over? Yeah. It says, for all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh yep. and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life yep. is not of the Father, but is of the world. Right. People think they can do whatever they want as much as they want. You know, they can live their life how they want to live. The YOLO spirit, man. No, man. The Lord gave uh, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans a, a specific uh, way to live, man. You know, people go about saying, oh, I think I can do this. Or oh, I think I know more than God, man. That's, that is very vexing, man. You know? They can't control whether they live or die, man, but they believe that they got more knowledge than the Most High, you know? It says, And the world passeth away, and the lust thereof, but he that doeth the will of the Most High abideth forever. 
Yep, and hey, these people are finna get judged, man. But hey, guess who's gonna not be a part of that judgment, man? The righteous men of the Lord, the one third, you know, the elect, man. You know, you got something? Mm hmm. Because uh, this talks about, it said, um, it said the Lord said he testified that the works thereof are evil, man. And what does it say about that? Uh, yep, this is Amos 5. Amos 5 and 15, it said, well, 14, it says, See good and not evil, that ye may live. And so, Yahweh, the power of hosts, shall be with you, as ye have spoken. So you got to seek the good and not the evil, man. Verse 15 says, Hate the evil and love. It says, Hate the evil and love the good and establish judgment in the gate. It may be that Yahweh, power of hosts, will be gracious unto the remnant of Joseph. So the Lord said, Hate the evil, man. Love to get in the good and um in um uh uh Second Thessalonians, the fifth chapter says uh abstain from all appearance of evil, evil man. Yep. So you gotta be away from all this evil. But this is Jeremiah four twenty two. It says, For my people is foolish, they have not known me, they are sad as children, and they have none understanding. They are wise to do evil. But to do good, they have no knowledge. This word, and these people, chiefly the people of Israel, are only known and trained in evilness, man. You know, which, we, uh, hey, it's going to be a remnant and an elect that's not with that, man. The two-thirds are only about wickedness. Hey, the heathens, chiefly with Esau, Edom, is only about wickedness, man. This place is not holy at all. The Lord is not down with any of this place. The prophets are not down with any of this place, man. So what? The, if the most high God is not down with this place, what's going to happen to this place? Ultimately, he's going to exact judgment, man. Righteous judgment that needs to come down, man. This place is going to get hit with thermal nuclear fire, and it's going to be uninhabitable, man, yep. as an ensign of how not to live, man. Right. Yep. Uh, the book of Galatians says, Be not deceived, for the most high is not mocked. You know, uh, whatsoever man sow of that which he reapeth. You know, and in the book of Jude, it tells you basically that uh, Sodom and Gomorrah was a uh, was made a you know was a judge, leaving an example to those that live ungodly afterward, man. So hey, look at this place, man. Look at how much wickedness is growing up in Babylon. The great man, this place is gonna get uh, two times more destroyed, man. You know, for lack of a better uh, air, uh, lack of a better wording, you know. But hey, the the Lord is not with this place. People say God bless America. You want America to live on, man. Everything here in America is a is is the complete opposite of righteousness, which is the complete opposite, the opposing force of of the Lord, man. You know. Yep. This is James four and four. Ye adulterers and adulteresses, know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with Yahweh? Who whosoever therefore will be a friend of the world is an enemy of Yahweh. So if you're a friend of the word, you hate the most high. If you if you call yourself a friend of this word, if you're with this word, that's showing you that you're not with the Lord, man. Because the Lord is completely against this word. The Lord does not want to be with this word, man. So what? So why are you with it, man? Then that shows that you're an enemy of the most high. If you're not with me, you're against me. So if you're not spread, uh, crying to the Lord you know, because this place is wicked, man. Hey, if you cry to the Lord, that shows that you have some form of sense, man. That shows that you have uh, some form of uh, knowledge and uh, wisdom to not want to be in here, man. Because you uh, are trying to keep the law, statutes, commandments to the best of your ability. You're trying to return into the Most High to the best of your ability, and you're accept your punishment, and you're uh, com and you're completely fed up with this place, man. Yep. You know you're you're bearing your you're bearing the indignation of the Lord, man, and you're <laughs> crying out against this place. But if you're com if you're with this place. Then you're not with the Lord, man. Yep, Ezekiel 9 and 4, it says, uh, can you, can you grab it? I'm going to just quote another one. It says uh, that the Lord is going to come to those that turn from transgression in Jacob, man. And everything that you see around you is just transgression, man. These people, Babylon and great, this, this isn't a place of righteousness, man. This isn't a place. Hey, the Lord said, if, well, I find faith on the earth, man. These people are faithless. You know, all their works are works of darkness, man. You know? This is Ezekiel 9 and 4. And Yahweh said unto him, Go through the midst of the city through it says, Go through the midst of the city through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh, and that cry for all the abominations that are done in the midst thereof. And Jerusalem represents you Israelites, man. You know, hey, and the Lord said, Judgment will begin in my temple. You know, uh what what so more, you know, those that follow not the doctrine, you know, roughly paraphrasing, man, you know.
Damn, oh yeah, Zephaniah, in the book of Zephaniah, tell you that the Lord is going to come and punish those that are settled on their leaves, me, meaning uh, at ease, man, chilling, man, comfortable, you know. The, the scriptures in the book of Micah tell you, arise, for this is not your rest. It is uh, polluted. It will even destroy you with a sore uh, destruction, you know. This ain't our place to live it up and have fun and goof around, man, no. you know. It says unto the others, he said in mine hearing. So, so the other people, the people who's like, Shit, I'm cool with this place. The Lord said, Go ye after him through the city and smite. Let not your eyes spare, neither have pity. Stay utterly old and young, yep. both maids and little children and women, but come not near any man upon which I mean upon whom is the mark. And begin in my sanctuary. Then they begin at the ancient men which were before the house. Yep. So hey, hey, if you not uh found uh, sign and crying when the Lord comes back to judge Babylon and great in these places uh, all around the earth, man. The Lord is going to destroy you, man. He's going to destroy you, your children, your uncle, you know, you fake woke niggas, man. You know, you blank, uh, uh, wicked sinners, man. You two thirds, man. The Lord's come back to destroy, you, man. You know, <laughs> that's the vibration the Lord on. The Lord ain't on no love, 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 peace. Do everything you want and just repent on your deathbed. Nah, man. You finna see that the, the power of the Bible, Yahweh. Yahweh, Yahweh, Shai, man, he is a power to be feared, man. You got anything else? Yeah, this is 2nd Ezra 15 and 8. It says, I will hold my tongue no more as concerning the wickedness which they profanely commit. Neither will I suffer them in those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves. Behold, the innocent and righteous blood crieth unto me, and the souls of the just complain continually. Yep, hey, the Most High is fed up with all this wickedness going on, man. That's why he said he's not going to hold his tongue no more. He ain't going to just let it slip by. He's going to exact that, man. He's going to examine your works, whether they be good or evil, man, and punish you, man. You know? You got something? Yeah, we're supposed to complain continually. Like, what? why, why the hell? What, the, the Lord literally gives us a reason to complain every day. He makes it uncomfortable for us, man. And if, and if you're comfortable in this place, that means you're going to hell off. We are completely uncomfortable in this place, man. We complain to the Lord righteously because the Lord says, uh, his, and he said that in Isaiah the 60, could be, uh, 60, 60 something chapter, man. So like, but it says basically that the, the, um, the, the prophets will not hold their silence, man. I mean, they, they will not hold their peace, man. Until the Lord established Jerusalem as a praise on the earth, roughly yep. paraphrasing. So we're not holding our peace, man. And it's in the spirit of the Lord to make us not hold our peace. Yeah. And I'm going to add on to you. Romans, the first chapter, talk about uh, basically you, you claim that you're not against it, man. That means you basically consented unto it, man. So, hey, you just as worthy as the people that's doing the wickedness, man. You know, so, hey, if you, you're not against this place talking about how bad it is, man, wanting deliverance, that means you are part of the problem, man. Hey, so the Lord is going to judge you. You got some more? And, hey, with that, we're going to go ahead and close it out. Uh, call Lion Lai, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahusha, Ba'ashem, Ruchak, Kodash. Double honor to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. Citation to all the I can push his word with truth necessary to maturity. Shalom, Barakatham, and Ababa Ball. Shalom.